Nine-year-old twins Joe and Jake live in the West Midlands with full-time mum, Emma. Over the past year, the boy's behaviour has become more extreme. Jake has been in trouble at school for throwing a chair at a teacher. Joe has been excluded for fighting. Life with Joe and Jake can be really hard. You wake up and you don't know what the day is going to have in store for you, really. They just, like, fight with you to get their own way. With two other children under the age of five, Emma is struggling to cope. By the time their boys are, like, 14, 15, you know, they're going <laughs> to... They are going to be locked up or something like that because if they keep carrying on the way they do, they're going to get into, like, serious trouble. Jake is first into Mr Drew's office. You either make the choice to go on that team or not play at all, your choice. He will go on that team or he will not play at all. I'm in charge here, not him. But what we'll do is we'll make sure that we'll uh, get this sorted out at the end of the lesson because I'm not accepting that type of behaviour. How do you feel at this moment in time, having sat and watched Bad. yourself, Jake? Bad. Right. How do you sound? Ridiculous. Okay. What's ridiculous about it? Me screaming. You need to stop. It is embarrassing. And actually, it does make you look silly. And you're better than that. No. Next up is Zane. When you look at I noticed as soon as you saw yourself do that, your head went straight down. So why did your head go straight down? Because I didn't want to hear that. OK. Why don't you want to hear it? Because I didn't. OK. The fact that your head went straight down means that you know it's wrong. Do you ever want your mum to feel like that? No. No. Does your mum want you to change completely and be absolutely perfect? No. What does she want you to be? Just better. OK. But I think it's time for you to reflect upon how you behave and to think about the things you do. See where I'm coming from? Yeah. Good man. Last in is Jake's twin brother, Joe. My teachers are human beings. Like everyone's teachers in every school, they are human beings. And they have a right not to be sworn at. They have a right to be treated with respect. Have we failed to show you respect? Do we show you respect? Do we show you respect all the time? Even when you are being incredibly difficult, do we still show you respect? So as we show it to you, I think we're entitled to expect it back. Yeah? OK. I want you to stop. And if you don't like something, do you know what? Chin up. Suck it up. Get on with it. You can't always have your own way. Off you go.